Welcome Gemini. We're going to be making an inquiry today about um, kind of the feeling from the last couple of readings is about what it is that your soul needs to know or what your soul wants you to know, maybe. Anyway, we're going to be using Work Your Light Oracle cards, in particular the inquiry cards out of that, Osho Zen Tarot and Mystical Healing cards. Alrighty, let's get into it. Gemini. One card for Gemini, please. Hopefully it jumps out quick. And there it is. I freaking knew this was going to come out. Look, talent, Gemini. Here we are with the talent. Okay, I found my purpose. Now, align your life. Is this familiar to some of you this picture of feeling like everything's a little bit shattered or in pieces like nothing's quite just not quite fitting and you're trying your best to make it all fit and it doesn't work anyway it says what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are hmm Interesting. Let me just get this ready so I can read it at the end. I think it's on the other page. Where are we? Align your life. Okay, so 34. All right, let's have a look at this with the cards first. Align your life. I feel like, you know what I feel like here, Gemini, is that this is the thoughts in your mind. Um, and potentially this is causing things to feel out of alignment for you even maybe more than what it truly is it, for some of you it's actually your thoughts that are causing the lack of alignment okay so let me pick these up I almost fell off my chair then when I went to go and pick those up so that would have got me really out of alignment hey Okay, so first card here is Learn from Karma. Let me show that to you. Learn from Karma. There's the immediate thing that jumps out to me here is this balance that is needed. Um, and also, there's something that is not seen here. Something that needs the light shed on it. And it's not, it's not that um, anyone's hiding anything from you. It's more it, that it's something that you're not seeing for yourself, I suppose. Like, um, because it seems like there's all these different, not perspectives, oh, maybe it is perspectives, because that was going to come out. There's these different perspectives that are coming in at you. But, and nothing's matching up. And it's like, but then there's this one, and then there's that one, and then there's that one, but nothing quite feels right. Hmm, interesting. Learn from your karma. Give me more about that, okay. Learn from your karma. The Gemini... Align, see this is the thing though Gemini, it's saying align your life, it's not just get into alignment, it's aligning your life, yeah, so it really is about you getting all the pieces of your life, potentially examining each one, looking at each one, dissecting it in a sense, um, not to be hard on yourself at all, but just to see what, what bits in there aren't working. You know, do that. It's it's kind of like having your life as um as these pieces, right? They're all in in these segments right now, um, a bit like a jigsaw, right? You've got all these pieces of a jigsaw from lots of other jigsaws, maybe, and it's trying to find the right ones to fit in to what it is you want your life to be now. Because the old pieces of the other jigsaws are not going to work for you, Gemini. They don't fit the picture anymore. 
So it's actually picking out the right pieces to create the jigsaw that you want your life to be. Okay, wow, we've got heaps of cards that have flipped out here. Yeah, see, having the courage to create a new vision for yourself, right? To step out of what you've always been used to, right? Because here's the thing, Gemini, you have grown. You have grown, and I know that this has come up in your readings before. You have been the seed in between this crack here with no nurturing, no loving, and you've grown into the light anyway. And you are rising up, Gemini, right? So learn, learn from the past and allow yourself to stretch out of the restrictions that you have placed upon yourself, that other people have placed upon yourself, okay? Because you don't need to live like that anymore. You can take control. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, Gemini, this is... Wow, what are these other cards here? Holy gosh. This is huge. This is absolutely massive, yeah. This is why you need to align your life so that you can step into the master of who you are because the master of who you are is this it's this authenticity. It's about claiming you as the master. You see, Gemini, there's nothing cocky about doing that. There's nothing stuck up. There's nothing like, oh, I'm all that. And, you know, look at all those peasants down there. It's not like that because look at his energy. He sits, he sits in this knowingness. He sheds light on all the things that are not aligned in his life. And he learns from the past to become wiser, to become more knowledgeable, to become more peaceful within right he goes into the silence and he allows see look at this sorry see this here this is this this is this um knowingness coming out the knowingness coming out to lead the way for you not letting all these other these different perspectives coming in and like oh should i do this and what's this and what's that and what's that no, 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 no. Never mind all that. Just sit back in the silence and allow the master of who you are to step forward. Bam, Gemini. Gemini. Wow. Anyway. Yeah, see these two cards as well. Like far out, Gemini. Look at this. This is this consciousness, living in this consciousness of who you truly are, this master. And I know that some of you don't feel like that. You don't feel like the master. You feel like everything's a hot mess right now. Do you know why, Gemini? Because you're not allowing the silence to come to allow this consciousness to take you beyond the illusion that you are not the master because you are. And it's time to own it. It's time to create a new vision for yourself and have the courage to create that. Okay, we have two more cards down here because we ain't done with Gemini and we're only on the first card here. Right? It is about you participating in the rebirth of your life. It is about you allowing your Your music that is inside you, it's about you allowing your um, authentic melody, your authentic melody to be played for the world to hear. Wow. Wow. This is, yeah. Anyway, yeah. And Gemini, this next card here, temper, criticism, right? These are the parts of you that jump in there. You know, you're a Gemini, right? <laughs> on and on and on at you. And what are you doing that for? And what about this? And what about that? And then there's the little one in the back going, 
go Gemini, go. And these other two are like, you can't do that, right? See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Temper the criticism. Okay? Temper the criticism, let the silence through, let the stillness in, okay? So that you can start to quieten that down because it's not serving you, okay? And it's time to be done with that, okay? So more cards for temper your criticism for Gemini, please. And that's a number 33 here. So um, that's, here we go, cards jumping all over the show. Um, you know, so that's a master number here, Gemini, and um, I kind of feel like this alignment here is about you aligning with yourself, in a sense, aligning the twins to work together, okay? Okay, I'm going to stop there, because I think we'll end up with half the deck. I'm going to pick these cards up that have fallen on the floor, because half of them have. Yeah, so... oh. 1111 I just saw on the time of the year, Gemini. This is a hugely powerful reading, I have to say. Okay, just all the signs are here. We've got 33, 11, like all these cards here. These powerful cards are just mind-blowing. Anyway, let's get into it here. Um, we've got this totality card here. This is you trying to connect in, right? I, you know what? This is this. An example of this because it's kind of like I feel like for some of you throughout your life it's like you've almost got there you've almost got there and then bam it's just the momentum gets lost or something gets in the way and it doesn't quite make the um, the connection isn't made right and and this is this is this connection with yourself you know this is this connection with the master of who you are here Gemini yeah um, so yeah there's, there's some things here that need to be worked through, okay, because we've got, I'm just going to pull them up because there's been some, like I said with this card here, there has been some really, really, really hard times, really hard, um, and There's work to be done here, Gemini. We can't keep on holding the things down and not releasing them, okay? Because it seems like for some of you, there's this sort of sense of control that you're trying to get in your life. For some of you, you have been so controlled that it's hard for you now to know where to even begin with maybe a sense of freedom or to even step out of these boxes here, Right, or there's these these lines of, of where you've been held, okay? And being held in there has suffocated you to a degree. But you don't need to live like that. Okay, you can now stretch out and up. Okay, for some of you, there's been something absolutely shocking that has knocked you down. This could be something that you decided to do, take control of, you know, and step into. But um, there have been, without a doubt, Gemini, events in your life that have been beyond what most people may be able to cope with, you know. Um, and what you do is you come along and you put this box over your head and pretend to the world like, it's okay, I'm all right, no, it's fine, I'm good, okay. And you're in there, you're in there suffering in silence you're suffering in silence and when you do that Gemini you quieten down or actually you don't even quieten down it doesn't even have the chance to play your melody that resides within you you don't allow the master the, you don't allow the consciousness of the master to actually blossom into something beautiful, right? So it's time for that to change. It's time for you. It's time for you to come into your own. Because everything that you've been through, Gemini, that can be used. That can be used for you to... Um, 
step into what it is that you are here to do on this earth plane, okay? Um, coming back to this card though, align your, your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? So let's look at this here, Gemini. Let's just get four cards because, you know, it's kind of hard to hold. Oh, let's get three cards actually because, yeah. Anyway, that Gemini here, right, sorry. This here, right, look at that piece in those cards, okay. Now, these three cards here, Gemini, look at the difference, okay. Yeah, what is more in alignment with your life here? Okay, this here is what ultimately would be the most ideal thing to be aligning with. Not this. Right now, for some of you, this is what you're aligning with. And, you know, inside this box here is what that is, right? Is this. And that's not what you want in that box. You want this. But when this is in your existence, when this is you stepping into who you truly are, you're not going to need the box anymore. You're going to be able to step out of that box and create a new position for yourself and create a whole new life, right? And so, yeah, this is about you believing in yourself here, Gemini, because if you don't believe in yourself, who can? Who can? Because there are people around you who believe in you, but when you don't, you can't receive it, right? You have to be receptive in order to, to allow yourself to grow, Gemini, right? Because how else do you make it through the cracks, yeah? Okay, so the next card here is stop breaking agreements. And I feel like this is the agreement that you made, the contract that you made with yourself as a soul when you came through. Um, yeah. Definitely, some of you are kind of like riding along the little horsey of life here and uh, not really stepping into your power. And it's just time to shed the cloak because it's um, it, it's shedding on its own. And I think it's better to kind of like maybe take charge of that so that it doesn't hit you um, and, and cause you to crumble. Take charge, Gemini. It's time. Tell me more about this, please. What have we got here? <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay, sorry. Just get some more. I'm trying to remember what order. I love it. Love it. Yeah, 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 man. This is cool. Okay, Gemini. Okay. Awesome. Yep, we've got quite a few cards here. So, where do I start? Where do I start? Where's that? Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Gemini. Oh. <clears throat> Where's that other one? There was that other one somewhere. No, there. Oh, there it is. Okay, Gemini. Yep, see, we have this existence here. See, this is this is you um, being part of the whole. Okay, um, you really, I suppose, dropping, this is, this is about you dropping that box that's over your head, right, um, to allow your true existence to come forth, because um, understanding that you are part of the whole, okay, some of you feel like you're walking this life so individually, um, and I think it's really doing some work and finding the right people. Um, and, and, and I'm going to say this. Okay, sorry, let me finish this first. Finding the right people um, to connect with Gemini who will help you with the understanding of your existence on this earth plane, okay? And in order to do that, okay, it's about you taking the box off your head and becoming at least a little bit vulnerable, okay, and asking, asking for those people to come to you, trusting, trusting that they will be delivered, 
okay when you need them they'll be there to show you and to help you but here's the thing Gemini you have to do the work you can't just learn a little something and expect everything to change work takes work okay and sometimes it's ugly and sometimes it's messy and sometimes you wonder why you even started but I tell you what it's better than the alternative of remaining in this forever you know right like this is that how you want to stay for the rest of your life right um so yeah it's time gemini it's time to make the change okay it's time to take those rose colored glasses off and actually go and have a freaking vacation on the beach instead of pretending like you are instead of pretending like everything's fine when it's not okay change is in the air what remains con constant here gemini is the truth of who you are your existence your existence is never ch changing in this whirlwind of change that is what remains that is the truth that you can hold on to that is what you can trust you and yourself and the soul that you are who has come forth to take this journey because you're here for a much bigger re reason than what you believe okay it's time to tune in it's time to tune out these outside voices and it's time to tune in to who you really are gemini okay so yeah seek the guidance all right and um celebrate celebrate yourself get the people around you who lift you up you know go and jump in puddles gemini when it's raining who cares so you get wet, you go and dry off, and voila, you're fine again, right? Like, have some fun. You know, it's not all so serious, okay? And this last card here is what you're aiming towards, okay? This is you bringing in your people, connecting together, connecting through your existence. This is what this existence is, this connection with not just like-minded people, but like-hearted people. Your people, Gemini. And they're out there. They're out there. They're just waiting for you to take the box off. You know? And you can do it, because look what you've been through. Look at everything you've been through. Realistically, this is pints for you. This is pretty easy. Uh, in the bigger scheme of things, it feels like daunting and hard but Gemini mate you know here's the thing for some of you Geminis this is something that you have already done and now it's time to step into this and really make your mark okay um it's sort of like it's not over okay it's sort of only just beginning so there'll be those of you who are in different places here um but yeah Really, um, you know, just gauge where you are on this journey as I read you this, okay? All right, align your life. What is no longer in alignment with who you truly are? What in your life is no longer in... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that just repeated itself twice. Anyhow, we are cyclic beings in a constant state of change, of evolution, of growth. Change is one of the only certainties in life. When you resist your cyclic nature, you resist life and feel stuck. Many of us have learned to be who the world wants us to be. But there comes a time when it is harder to hold on to this facade than it is to embrace who we truly are. To surrender to how we have changed and align life to that way of being. If you pulled this card, you are being called to let go of who you once were or the things that you once defined yourself by. The job, the relationship and the mask you wore and to embrace who you truly are now. To courageously step into the person that you came here to be in full authenticity. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. To embrace your weirdness 
and your uniqueness. We're all weird, <laughs> like, let's face it. It's so much fun, right? Right. Anyway, um, okay. Perhaps you have outgrown some relationship or circumstances, and it is time to re reassess and bring all the parts of your life into alignment so that they are congruent with who you truly are today. Yeah. Gemini. Wow. What's in your life is no longer in alignment with who you truly are. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that, Gemini. Anyway, I'm going to leave that with you. Okay, so really ponder on that. There's a lot that came up. And remember who you are. Okay, sorry. Who you truly are, Gemini. Hiding under here is the master, the consciousness. Okay, become, become conscious of the master of you. All right. Okay, Gemini, I'll leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.